আসসালামু আলাইকুম एवरीवन আই होप यू অল আর ওয়েল দিস ইজ आवर फर्स्ट ক্লাস অফ आवर बेसिक इकोनोमेट्रिक्स कोर्स इन दिस क्लास वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज इकोनोमेट्रिक्स एंड एट स्टेप्स ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल इकोनोमेट्रिक्स फर्स्ट वी विल नो अबाउट व्हाट इज इकोनोमेट्रिक्स इकोनोमेट्रिक्स मींस इकोनॉमिक मेजरमेंट दैट यूजेस डिफरेंट स्टैटिस्टिकल एंड मैथमेटिकल टूल्स टू एनालाइज इकोनोमेट्रिक फिनोमेना इकोनॉमिक थ्योरी इकोनॉमिक डेटा और हाइपोथेसिस In other words econometrics is a branch of economics in which the tools of economic theory mathematics and statistics are used to analyze econometric phenomena Now we'll discuss about eight steps of traditional econometrics First step is statement of theory The first step is to give the economic theory of the subject we want to know about assuming that we want to know the effect of income on consumer consumption we can say that income and consumption are positively related second step mathematical model in this step economic theory is expressed as mathematically if we want to express consumption function mathematically we can write y equal to beta 1 plus beta 2 x here y dependent variable and x independent variable independent variable also called explanatory variable and beta 1 intercept and beta 2 coefficient this is slope coefficient which is also called marginal propensity to consume of consumption function econometric model In this econometric model disturbance term is added which is absent of mathematical model this disturbance or error term represent all factors that affect on the model data collect collect essential and reliable data this data may be cross sectional data time series data poll data or panel data panel data is the special characteristic of pool data estimation of the econometric model after collecting the data the parameters have to be estimated if we are working on a consumption function then we need to estimate the parameter of the consumption function generally regression analysis is used to estimate parameters hypothesis testing after estimating the parameters hypothesis testing should be done to see how much the parameters supports the economic theory and how much the estimated parameters are sufficient for the model prediction y is predicted variable and x is predictor if i consider model does not explain the hypothesis or theory then the predictor x has to predict the dependent variable or the predicted variable y policy implications the estimated model may be used for policy purposes the government can manipulate the control variable with the help of monetary and fiscal policy to get predicted variables thanks for watching next class we'll know about next topic of our basic econometrics course